Skywatchers this week get to see a mighty hunter and its treasures high in the winter sky. Now, Orion the Hunter is considered one of the most easily recognizable pattern of, of stars in the entire sky. And you look basically towards high in the southern sky around mid-evenings this time of the year for a distinctive row of three equally brilliant stars that represent Orion's belt. You'll also notice four stars surrounding them, marking the shoulders and knees of the giant. Now, one of the brightest stars in the winter sky marks the right shoulder of Orion, Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is nearly 500 light years away, and its orange-red color is really striking for the naked eye. Now, it's so large that if we would replace our sun with Betelgeuse, its outer edges would extend out to Jupiter. Now, astronomers predict that Betelgeuse is a dying star and will explode as a supernova probably in the next million years or so. But when it does, it's going to outshine even the full moon. Now, just underneath the belt of Orion is a hanging sword, also marked by three vertical stars. Look closely at the middle star, and you'll notice that it's hazy in appearance. And that's because you're looking at a gigantic cl dust cloud called the Orion Nebula. It's actually a nursery of stars located 1,400 light years away from Earth. And astronomers think that there's over a dozen baby stars shining away, forming new baby solar systems. For more stargazing information, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.